Hi, this is Tony with StuffSeniorsNeed.com, and I'm coming to you today with a video regarding home health care agencies and, you know, the types of questions that you should be asking if you're a caregiver considering having a home health care aide come in and take care of your loved one. Today's seniors, they have more options than ever, and one of them is to have someone come in and assist, assist them. However, there are some serious pitfalls and dangers to their health you need to be aware of if you pick the wrong agency. That's why I want to take you through this video and take you through some of the questions you need to be asking if you're going to be hiring a home health care agency. How long have you been in business is the first one. And yes, it's the obvious no-brainer. But the reason you're asking that really is for the third bullet point I have there. Okay. A, an agency that is a smaller agency, an agency that hasn't been in business all that long, may make the decision that, you know, or I should say they're going to be the type of agency that will attract a caregiver that isn't quite the type of person you're going to want necessarily looking for, uh, looking after your loved one. So make sure you stick with a home health care agency that has a long enough track record to allow you to research both the organization and the caregivers to make sure that they're the right type of company for you. Next, are the workers bonded and insured? Most people don't think about this. They don't think about the potential for accidents or falls as, um, as, as the home health care agency is taking care of their loved one. But you need to make sure that they have professional and liability coverage, non-owned auto, dishonesty bond, workers' compensation. There are plenty of these smaller outfits, okay, that carry either the minimal coverage or no coverage at all, depending on those uh, on on the situation, and that could put you as the care as the caregiver in in a bind. If let's say the home health care aide trips gets hurt, they have no uh, they have no workers comp coverage. That person might be coming after you as a result of that. So it's something to watch out for. Next, what type of criminal background checks are performed? Um, as you could imagine, there may be a lot of unscrupulous people out there looking for work with the way the economy is these days. And I'm not necessarily talking about the issues where, you know, we, we um, put a little white lie on our resume to make ourselves look a little better. We're looking for criminal background checks here. And you need to make sure that the agency is not only doing them, but it goes back at least five years on the checkout. Next, do you have licensed vocational nurses or RNs on staff? And the reason for this is you need to make sure that those nurses, those nurses, those RNs are out there and making sure that the people that are actually doing the caregiving are pro following proper medical protocols. If they're not, your loved one isn't getting the care they need and you need to pick another agency. Next, how do you hire your employees? Okay, ask about the hiring process, the questions that get asked, the type of credentials that are looked for, and make sure that the standards of the, of the health care agency are high enough that they're going to attract the right type of person to take care of your mom and dad. Can you send me some information describing your fees and services? And really here, we want to make sure we're not dealing with a fly-by-night outfit you want to make sure they made an investment in themselves, that they have flyers, that they have brochures that are available for you to ask somebody um, and for them to send you that information. It should also disclose on there ideas of the fees and services that are performed so that you can have an idea economically if you can afford this as well. What are the company's replacement policies or guarantees? And here what I'm talking about is you know, it could be a personality issue. It could be a case of where the um, aide and, you know, your parent just don't get along. Do you have the ability to get somebody else in there? Okay, that's going to be very important um, just from a personality standpoint because sometimes people clash. Um, I, I know that I've experienced that situation in dealing with some of the aides at mom's nursing home where, you know, they're nice people, but, you know, just there's a personality clash. So that's something we really have to consider as well. What are your financial procedures and what are the rates? Are they negotiable? Now, of course, we're all looking for a deal. Of course, we want to see if they're negoti negotiable. 
And while these agencies have a set of fixed costs they have to pay, some of the fees may be negotiable. But there's a problem, and that's where my second bullet point comes in here. The downfall is that in a lot of instances, you're going to get a second-class caregiver if you wind up negotiating. You don't want someone that can barely speak English. You don't want someone who is uh, not qualified for the job. So it's fine to, to talk about negotiating, but understand that there could be a very serious downside to negotiating as well. And you need to weigh the pros and the cons of that situation. Are there references? Obviously, if they can't provide adequate references and a long enough track record, you shouldn't even be considering them. And finally, you need to have the ability to sit down with someone and discuss the care de details. That's non-negotiable. You have to be able to sit down with the head nurse, the administrator, someone in authority, and go over exactly what's being covered and what's going to be done for mom. So I hope this helps. These are some of the checklists that you need to go through, the questions you need to go through in order to do this. This is Tony with Stuff Seniors Need, and I will see you next time. Take care.